Those swords are made really well because they're like layered bits of bamboo together. I think it would have to be a really like perfect storm for that to actually happen. Seeing as how like these aren't very sharp. Hi, my name is Tekla Hudirova. I'm a stunt woman and martial arts world champion. And I've been doing nunchucks and martial arts in general for about 18 years. Today we'll be looking at nunchuck scenes in movies and judging how real they are. It's very traditional nunchuck style. It's a lot of the passing under the hand stuff, which is super cool and like more old school. The longer chain ones might be more practical. The longer the chain, the further your reach is. This is about the length I think that they were in that last clip. Because the ones I compete with, it's a shorter chain, so you can do more like flourishy things with it. Not only did he hold it normal grip, which is your thumb facing the chain pretty much, but whenever he switched his his hands. He had them backwards uh, a, a few times. You don't see that often. It's a style, I think it's like knife, you know, you have like your regular standard grip and then you have like ice pick where it's upside down. So I guess that'd be like the ice pick version, which is cool. This is the normal grip, but it's neat to see it this way because obviously it works the same way, but it's just cool. <laughs> you don't have to start under the armpit. I think that's another just traditional move. They usually like spin it, catch it under the armpit, and then shoot it back out again. And I think maybe that's more of a sneaky way to do it as opposed to like being loaded here, right? You're here and then everyone's like, oh, there's no way. And then shoo! like traditional weapons especially come from like farm tools. This was just for like smacking grain out of hay and like wheat and stuff. <laughs> and then someone's like, hmm, this works on grain. I wonder what it'll do to someone's face. I can't rate Bruce Lee, 10. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe nine, because he showed off for way too long. You can kind of see a little bit in some of it where maybe the actress isn't completely that well versed with the nunchucks. They're a little bit slower. She's kind of using more of her body and like more of her arms and stuff instead of just like moving the nunchuck very skillfully, but obviously she's quite skilled. There's a few cool moves though. The neck, sliding under the legs and hitting him. It's pretty cool, but it's definitely not as realistic to think that she wouldn't just be grabbed or something. She's being a lot more like calculating and like choreographed with it. The last move where she like puts it on her foot and kicks it, I've seen actually like done in form. So I'd say like seven, but I still love it. Oh, double. There we go. He's just doing the same combo over and over. I love it. It's funny how often it's just like the demonstration of the weapon, especially with nunchucks, is like the bit that, that is so highlighted. He did a good job. Like obviously it was him doing it and like the move where he like crosses them isn't very easy to do. <laughs> If I were to be in a fight with nunchucks, I think I would just try to make the big swinging strikes. The best one's probably from top to bottom at the angles. You do side to side or like a nice uppercut. Anything else ends up being a lot more specific. Also, I mean, groin, knees, those are always like defaults for self-defense moves. And a nunchuck to the kneecap wouldn't be very comfortable. So that'd probably be a good one too. So like what he did, you know, just like wailing on him is probably like a really, you know, good default. <laughs> I want to say they're foam ones in that scene too, just by the weight that it looked like they had when it bounced back. Real nunchucks are made out of wood. They're illegal in California. It's just always such an interesting question that like people ask that kind of confuses me sometimes about like, are they real? If you're training with a sword, if it's made out of metal, it is, but if it's not sharp, then I guess it's not real. Like these are real, they're just foam. So it's like a weird, you know, like what the definition of a real weapon is. He just did the demonstration, which was really cool, but the actual fight bit was like three moves and the nunchuck bounced back. So, like a five. Yes, concealed carry nunchucks. So cool. I've been known to just keep them in a backpack or a purse because I forgot that they're there. So they are very like concealable. Ooh. That's dope. <laughs> I love that he used it 
to take on a bunch of people surrounding him because I feel like that's probably the best use of it. Just because if you spin around fast enough, like people aren't going to want to attack you. I think that is a really good use of a flaily weapon. Like if he had a stick, someone might grab it, like disarm him or, you know, like it's, it's an easier thing to catch when it's like one stick, but when it's an unchuck, like it's terrifying. <laughs> it's scary for the person wielding it, much less someone in front. <laughs> Those swords are made really well because they're like layered bits of bamboo together. I think it would have to be a really like perfect storm for that to actually happen. Seeing as how like these aren't very sharp, but it's Donnie Yen, so you know, like it's possible. <laughs> if they wanted to swarm him, they could have like beaten him, but I, I think it's a really, good way to capture the like efficiency and the, the use of the actual weapon so i don't know nine a fellow chucker eh <laughs> yeah i mean rolling it over your hand is all, all, always harder because involves letting go of one of them and just letting it roll over your hand and get to the other one it's hard to do with the longer chain because you have to be able to get that so i'd say like straight strikes are the easiest and then something with a spin and then something with a release as far as difficulty tiers so like that difficulty scale and the speed i think are pretty good signs of like expertise you gotta love Ninja Turtles. It's like the dueling pianos thing. Keep practicing. <laughs> See, this is where nunchucks get a bad rep. They're like, oh, no one's actually doing anything with them. And then the guy with the stick comes in and beats everyone up. But if they actually got close enough where <laughs> Chuck would hit someone, maybe the guy with the bow staff wouldn't have to be there. <laughs> they showed some good expertise with the nunchucks, but there was zero fight actual interaction so i'll have to give it like a two or a three <laughs> but again for the demonstration bit maybe like a six or seven all right Ooh, pass around the back nice again with this you see a lot of just straight strikes not so much fancy stuff when you're actually interacting with people with which again like it's the diagonal strikes the sideways ones upwards hitting the guy out of the air was probably the least practical thing. I still liked Donnie Yen's version better with like everyone attacking at once. Cause again, this was a little more choreographed where like all the bad guys come in at their designated time, which is plausible, you know, of course. But I think if you're a mob trying to end up hurting someone, you just like go like one, two, three, let's go. <laughs> Finishes them off with a kick. He used a lot more, you know, like martial arts kicks and, and other other movement as opposed to just swinging the nunchuck around because obviously someone who can do nunchucks should have some background in martial arts. It made it feel more realistic because of that as well. The strikes were awesome, but then there were a few of the more intricate things like when he like wrapped the guy's arm, which I feel like took a little longer than it probably practically would. Like you, if someone's punching, you don't really have all that time for that to happen. It's plausible, of course. Like while it still felt very specifically choreographed, it was a lot more believable than the kick-ass one where there were just like so, so many specialty moves. <laughs> would really suck to get cracked like across the jaw or like the eye, obviously a sharp weapon is more practical in a real fight if you're actually wanting to like hurt people that bad. But I do think if you know what you're doing, they end up being like a stick. I used to think that they're not as effective or as good because I thought they'd like bounce back. But again, if you don't hit with anything but the last bit, it just whips by a little bit and then you have a lot of power in that last bit. Maybe not the easiest thing to use in a real fight, but I do think they could probably be pretty devastating if you know how to use them right. Maybe like a seven? That would suck. I feel like the physics of that doesn't quite work, but it's a cool move, you know? I liked the Bruce Lee character dodging. He's very skilled to dodge that close to the nunchucks, but I liked him going, stepping offline and like punching the guy and taking the nunchucks, which is what you want to do with disarming a weapon of any sort, right? Like you want to kind of get in past it and get past the like that end where the, the most power is. 
There was one bit where he like hits the pipe and then hits the guy's hand, which is really like a, a cool take on it because like hitting fingers would suck. Whereas you're not gonna disarm the pipe out of someone's hand. Important muscles for using nunchucks. Uh, one of the main ones is actually your wrists for the more intricate movements. And then obviously your arm and your back and power comes from your hips. Range of motion is very important. Arguably more important than muscle mass. This one's tough, cause I liked this one. It showed like a variety of styles, but like if we have to rate it on practicality, like seven or something. Nunchucks. These people need to start holding onto their weapons a little better. Yeah, it's funny to keep seeing that theme of just people taking nunchucks from other people <laughs> in all of these. I've never noticed that until you have them back to back. You're like, what is going on? I don't know if I would block an ax with it just because I'm not sure how sharp the ax is and how heavy and like, it's kind of a small chain, so it, it's not unlikely that it might snap it. There's also other blocks like this ends up actually being a block as well because you're here, you're blocking all that. And then you can also kind of block if you just hold them, their stick on your arm. So that's a good block as well. Again, like I don't think they're the most secure things to block with, but that's not a horrible move. Especially if you're stepping off to the side just to like ensure you're gonna not be hit if something does happen, probably parry instead of just block straight on. I don't think it showed off like the practicality of nunchucks all that well. You'd have to be very skilled and very specific with your movement to be able to pull that off at all. And I wouldn't recommend it. So maybe like a five, but it was a cool little scene. Ooh, there's that move again. I mean, he obviously knows what he's doing based on our criteria from earlier, like the intricacy, he's switching hands and the speed at which he's moving them and the spins and everything. So that's really cool to see. I grip it like a, maybe a thumb width away from the chain and the top because that's where you have the most control over the other stick as well. I guess for like distance and like just the straight strikes, you might grip it a little lower. And then also depending on the intricacy of your movement, sometimes for some moves you wanna grip it a little bit lower so that you can get it around your hand for that. Or you wanna grip it a little higher if you're doing like a finger spin or something. But generally speaking, you wanna be close to the chain on top. And then all you have to worry about is where the chain is flinging the rest of it. So it's a lot more controlled. <laughs> I don't do the like eyes fluttering thing. It is kind of indicative of not knowing the distance and like location of the nunchucks or any weapon really. Like I think people do that with bow staff and sword and stuff as well, even if it's just foam. Like if I throw it and lose track of it, then I do that, <laughs> obviously. But I, I do know where they're going most of the time, but you definitely hit yourself quite a bit, especially at first when you're still learning and if you're not being smooth. A lot of times it's, like funny bone, which is fantastic. Back of the head, which I'm not even sure how that gets there, but that's a good one. Also makes a really good sound. They're definitely special, but I've never like knocked myself out with them or like anything horrible. So practicality wise, I mean like probably like the four or five again, just cause like some of the strikes didn't look like they hit exactly. Oh, this is the quintessential scene. I can't rag on this, canceled immediately. <laughs> I like how, I, I feel like it is realistic how few times they hit each other with them and how much more it is kind of like a distraction. Like that first move he did, he did like a, briefly just like a distraction move and then kicks him in the, uh, like the ankle to throw him off. So like that stuff's more practical, I think. It, it felt, maybe not like gritty realistic, but it did feel realistic within like, if you're sparring with someone, you're gonna show off your moves and everything and like kind of like test the waters and the distance, which they were doing a lot during the like demonstration periods and just kind of showing off very simple straight across strikes, which would work. But yeah, I think that's one of the best ones we've seen for sure. I'd say that's the 10. <laughs> So the spear kind of beat the nunchucks in that, I think, even though she won. Definitely 
less intricate movement. It was kind of nice that there wasn't a demonstration of skill in this one. It was just like it went right to the fight. Maybe the nunchucks weren't the right choice for that girl to use in that fight against the spear. It wasn't bad. I just, I, I think the other ones obviously were much stronger showing the benefit of nunchucks and like the, the practicality of it and the impact of them. Cause even in this, like she hit the girl across the face, but like there wasn't a lot of impact on how that would actually feel. And I think the distance again looked a little off because they were so close. So a lot of her strikes ended up being a little weaker looking. The distance felt a little off and the filming didn't quite showcase the nunchucks as well as some of the other clips would have. So maybe like a four or a three. Can you imagine? I'm like, I've been in a hundred nunchuck fights. <laughs> like what? Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, click the link above.